Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Kenan Evren, the leading figure of Turkey's 1980 coup, has died at a hospital in the capital city of Ankara at age 97. According to Turkey's official data, more than 650,000 people were arrested after the 1980 military coup. 230,000 of those people were put on trial due to their political beliefs. Hundreds of people were killed during the years of political unrest. 50 people were executed by the military government and a further 299 died after being taken into custody because of torture and unhealthy prison conditions. Evren was sentenced to life imprisonment by an Ankara High Criminal Court on June 18th last year for his role in the coup. Iraqi officials have announced that ISIS claimed responsibility for a prison break in Iraq. On May 9th, security sources announced that 12 police officers and over 50 inmates died in clashes. The fighting was a result of a large-scale jailbreak attempt which saw 40 prisoners escape the Halis prison in Dialia. A group of 200 protesters in London have demonstrated against the UK's Conservative government. The Conservatives won 331 seats in May 7th's general elections. This was five more than what was needed to secure a majority in the parliament. The protesters marched through the city shouting slogans such as, The system is broken. They called for proportional representation and said their voices are not being heard under their current voting system. An Egyptian court sentenced former President Hosni Mubarak to three years in jail in the retrial of a corruption case known as the Presidential Palaces. Mubarak was convicted of diverting around 16 million U.S. dollars of public funds earmarked to renovate presidential palaces and using the money to upgrade family properties. His two sons were given four-year jail terms in the same case. Mubarak is not expected to spend the full time in prison as he has been held in custody for three years. Thanks for watching. Melisa Berakin, TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.